think for me, and I, I must say that I have been a consultant for a long time, a strategy consultant for a long time, but I've also run my own business, small business, admittedly. Um, but I've, I've kind of felt that feeling of when you're not advising, but you're actually trying to do. So some of my thoughts come from that position as well as being advising and seeing a lot of clients. So I think the first point I'd like to make uh, is around this point of capabilities. And absolutely, it is crucial that we need to focus on development and we need to focus on capability building throughout, the, throughout an organization in order to be successful. But I really do think that it's important for, for CEOs and executives to really focus on ensuring that they, as a team, have the right capabilities and actually have the ability to execute on the strategy that they're putting forward. And I think often it requires a lot of courage from CEOs and their team to actually say, I'm not, the, I'm not best placed to lead this operation uh, or this function through this strategy implementation. And I think that often is very, very lacking. I've seen it many times with clients, and I had to accept that in my case, that there were certain aspects of, of our uh, goals and, and where we wanted to go that I wasn't in the best position to, to deliver on. So I think that's the one, the one key uh, point I'd like to make. The second one, somewhat related, is when we think about you know, aligning the top team, it really is important to also identify who our top talent is in our organization. And this, these aren't necessarily individuals who sit in your most senior roles, often your most critical roles, hopefully your most critical roles, but not always. It is really key to identify, if you're about to, to, um, to embark on a strategy implementation exercise, who is your talent in your organization, throughout the organization, and how are you going to mobilize them? How are you going to bring them along the journey and make use of their uh, capabilities and competencies? And you need to ensure that your employees are not only bought into your strategy, but actually passionate about it. So this want needs to be real passion. Because it's one thing to understand the strategy, so I know we need to go into geography X or you know, launch product Y or do this to pricing. It's another thing to really believe it in here. And, and, help, and, and, and that passion and that real belief carries through to how you execute on your roles and how you understand how your role needs to shift. So I really think passion is important as an important next sort of layer to buy in in order for, for an organization to be successful at executing. And then the final point I'd like to make at this point is around, um, Thinking through not only your strategies, and a simple, I agree, a simple strategy is usually the most effective. Thinking through your implementation or your execution plans, but also thinking through what we call your behavioral strategy. What are the things that you need to do? What are the behavioral shifts that are required in order to um, impact on the, um, on the journey, in order to ensure that there's a sustainable transition, that there's a sustainable transformation? And what does this mean? This, this, could, this could mean, you know, what does your frontline staff do every day? How do they think about customer? Um, and I won't go on and on, but I, I really do think there's something here about your behavioral strategy. So not just a change management plan, but actually what kind of behaviors do you want people to, to, um, to exhibit uh, and to, to, to take on board?